Hello everybody and welcome to the Miami Grand Prix for the NASCAR Xfinity Series since we do not have the Chicago Street Course yet ready for NR2003 so we're going to Miami where F1 raced earlier this year as we are green and underway here in Miami. Cole Custer and Brandon Jones on the front rows they sailed off into turn one. Creed looking to make a three wide move for the lead into turn one here in Miami. Custer, Brandon Jones, and Creed battle. Creed falls back line. Brandon Jones, what a move! Clears Creed and Custer, slipping and sliding through turn two. Caligaman looking to get third from Custer with a great run to help from Justin Allgaier here in the seven. In this opening lap racing, Brandon Jones could for lead. Creed trying to follow him through as Custer and Caligaman duke it out for third place. Brandon Jones leading through the carousel portion of the course. Now going through the corners. Now to the nice round carousel here with the nice Miami logo there and the beautiful colors. Cole Custer close. Closing in with Kligerman behind us, they battle for third as we look through this pack. They continue to battle here behind them. A little bit of a three wide situation it looked like as we go through this corner. As we oh, there's a crash! We got cars spinning! And the cars are spinning in everywhere. We got car upside down! Ryan Sieg flipping and flying through the air here at Miami. Up and over goes the 39 of Ryan Sieg. Oh my goodness. What a hellacious, he gets drilled by the O2 of Blaine Perkins, launched upside down. And he goes slipping, but this all actually all started ahead of him. The 19 of Connor Mosack is going to get, as forced to burn the wall, and Jeff Burton clips him, sends uh, Mosack hard into the wall, hard into Miguel Paluto. Then they go crash up at Ryan C gets drilled. Chandler Smith takes a hard hit. Piling in there as well. Josh Williams, Joe Graf Jr. involved. A whole bunch of guys. Brad Perez and a lot of guys damaged. Sage Karam is damaged. Chandler Smith is destroyed. The 91 is involved. And they go back to the pack that avoided the huge one on lap one here at Miami with a flip. Brandon Jones leads over the two of Sheldon Creed. Cole Custer third. Kaligerman fourth. And then back in fifth place, you know, they're all battling back there. But right now it's Brandon Jones leading the way for his first win of the season. Hemrick runs fifth. Some pressure from Allgaier. Holds up to look through the score and see back there. Everyone seems to be battling. I see all the damaged cars. Three wide situation right back there. Right now it's Miguel Paluto splitting the 91 machine. As it is Brandon Jones right now leading the way here down the long back straightaway here at Miami. Down to the final two corners of this racetrack to complete the opening lap on, and bring the field to the caution flag after that hellacious crash. To the internal section of this course, Brandon Jones leading the way. Creed giving pressure, but Brandon Jones is going to be your leader here back to the line in Miami. Can he go from below the cut line to in the playoffs of the win today? We will see. Brandon Jones leads the way here in Miami. As now we move on to the restart here on lap four, Brandon Jones battling Cole Custer, Sheldon Creed. He clears them both for the race lead through the opening two corners of the racetrack, holding them off through the S's. Now through their long carousel like corner. Brandon Jones is making it work behind him. Custer and Kligerman duke it out for third place. But Custer clears Kligerman as Hemrick tries to go for a move here into this corner. Kligerman holds him off now. They continue to run the fast pace around this five mile road course here in Miami. Pretty much a street course. Just like it would be in Chicago if we had the track. Unfortunately, we do not at the current time of recording this video. But right now it's Brandon Jones taking care of business, leading the way here in Miami. A comfortable lead over the two of Sheldon Creed. As now we move on to the last lap of stage one here. Lap eight, the nine of Brandon Jones looks to get home a stage win and a playoff point to his cause now. Coming down the long back straightaway, the final two corners of the racetrack. The race lineup remains the same, same top five. Nothing much has changed, not much passing at a tough to pass road course like it is here at Miami. But Brandon Jones is taking care of business as they all go through this hairpin like corner. Brandon Jones through the final corners here in stage one, back to the line. Brandon Jones wins stage one here in Miami. Sheldon Creed, your runner up in the stage, followed by Cole Custer in third. Parker Kligerman is going to bring it home in fourth. Hemrick runs your top five, Josh Berry, Justin Allgaier, Riley Herbst, Sam Mayer, and Austin Hill, your top ten in the stage. As Brandon Jones wins stage one, just like that, now on the last lap of stage two. Lap 16, remember, no stage yellows here at these road courses. Brandon Jones has now pulled even further away from the double zero of Cole Custer, as Sheldon Creed's had a problem and is almost going a lap down. So now Cole Custer has slot into second place, but Brandon Jones is absolutely dominating this race. He seems to be untouchable today here in Miami, showing his road course prowess. He might be dangerous here if he wins this race. He could be a dangerous force in the playoffs if he gets there, depending 
how he can do these final bunch of races to the end of the regular season as Brandon Jones comes through to win stage two and sweep the stages in Miami. Cole Custer will come through to be your runner up in stage two. Third in the stage here is going to be the 48 machine of Parker Kligerman. Having a very good road course run, as you would expect from Clicker. He's a great road course racer. Hemrick, fourth, running your top five, Josh Berry. Then Allgaier, Sam Mayer, Riley Earps, Austin Hill, and Justin Marks round out your top ten here at Miami. As Cole, as Brandon Jones wins stage two, sweeping stages. Then move on to the white flag, final lap. So my credit one bank here in Miami. Brandon Jones continues, has led every lap of this race, and is looking to complete the dominant performance, just like we had out in Portland with Jordan Taylor. Brandon Jones will lead every lap and win here in Miami. And a dominant performance because they didn't quite set the pit settings right, so there's barely any pit stops. This race is pretty much from Brandon Jones far, far away from the rest of the field, absolutely dominating this race of the double zero of Cole Custer. As Brandon Jones threw this beautiful course, beautiful street course here in Miami. Looks to cement himself into the NASCAR Xfinity Series playoffs. Joining his junior motorsports teammate Josh Berry, who won our last road course race out in Sonoma. Looks like he's going to be back to back road course wins for junior motorsports for Josh Berry and now Brandon Jones. As they look to lock those two in the playoffs, they try to point in right now Sam Mayer and Justin Allgaier, the next two guys in the playoffs they got to focus on. As Zion and Brandon Jones is absolutely catching the lap car, the 44 of Sage Karam's damage from that huge wreck on lap one. That was the only incident this race. It's been all Brandon Jones ever since through these tight little corners here at Miami. Heading to this corner very similar to in Mexico where the Formula One races. This corner right here as they now head into... The long, coming up to that long straightaway for the line, Brandon Jones goes sliding through that corner. Now down the long back straightaway for the final time. Brandon Jones with number nine is about to lead all 24 laps and win over the double zero of Cole Tusker. Will come home in a strong second place. But Brandon Jones right now untouchable in Miami. Going to make a statement that he can indeed win on road courses. And a strong, strong performance here. As he makes his way through these final couple of corners. Brandon Jones is going to get it done through the final corner in Miami. Brandon Jones wins the loop 121 at Miami. It's into the playoffs. And here comes Cole Custer to be your runner-up. Still a very strong run for him. Help him out in his chase for the regular season championship. Cole Custer finishes second here in Miami. Now come home in third place. A much needed Good points day for Parker Kligerman in the 48 for Big Machine Racing. Going to bring home P3 here after a very strong run. And behind him is a drag race to the line for fourth. Hemrick and Josh Berry. Hemrick is out Josh Berry for fourth. Berry fifth. Allgaier sixth. Then it's going to be Sam Mayer, Riley Herbs, John Hunter Nemechek, and Austin Hill rounds out your top ten here in Miami as Brandon Jones dominates, leads all 24 laps, sweeps the stages, and gets the job done, winning the race here in Miami, punching his ticket to the NASCAR Xfinity Series playoffs come September. See the race results on the left side of your screen. Solid run for Justin Marks, coming home in 12th place. See the DNFs out was Josh Williams, Ryan Ellis, Ryan Sieg, Chandler Smith, Dexter Bean, Brett Sher Brent Sherman and Blaine Perkins. We we'll see the updated playoff standing shortly. See the playoff grid. Brandon Jones slots in fourth with his first win on the season, locking himself himself in the Xfinity Series playoffs. Of course, now that leaves there's four drivers in on points right now, being John Harnimacek up by 76, Sam Mayer up by 67, Justin Allgaier 29 points to the good, and Sammy Smith 22 points above Sheldon Creed, who is now below the cut line, and Parker Kligerman now out by 49 points as the cut line moved up. And then Brett Moffat on down, Retzloff, Alfredo, Jeb Burton, Clements, Gralla, Joe Graff Jr. Pretty much must win territory. So until the next episode, I hope you all have a good one.